For my final video showing hydroponics used to grow African violets, I would like to give you an update, which will probably be one of the final updates that I have. And as a matter of fact, uh, I would have to say that uh, this is a very qualified success. The uh, jar in which this violet uh, plant is growing is full of nutrient water, and the plant itself has been growing in a net cup full of glass beads. There's no soil at all that is being used within the uh, pot. So here's what I've learned. With typical non-circulating hydroponics, the plants will eventually grow roots to the bottom of the container in which they're growing if the nutrient level is allowed to drop gradually. Uh, the African violet plant, you could tell, has put on a substantial number of flowers. So that is a success, and it proves to me that uh, compared to soil growing, the hydroponics can possibly produce a more abundant flowering. If I were to pull the net cup out of the top of this jar, I'll let the water drops come off a little bit, and I'll turn this to where you can see it a little bit better. Uh, this is the net cup in which the plant is growing. Uh, several other uh, varieties of plants will have roots that will come out the slots on the side of the net cup and grow down. The African violet, uh, by nature, does not want to do that, and I would say that it is also not a very aggressively growing plant. It uh, tends to do quite well as long as the nutrient level remains around the bottom oh, half inch of the pot. And so that puts uh, a moist zone around most of the roots and does allow the plant to take up nutrient and water from the base of the net cup. Now the uh, jar that I have is a glass jar that's been spray painted and most of the uh, nutrient water is still in here. I can reach down and touch the nutrient water so it's not a very heavy drinking uh, plant either. Uh, one of the things that I would suggest for anyone looking to do anything similar to this in the future would be to uh, use a slightly different adaptation of non-circulating hydroponics and that would be where a reservoir and a float valve is used to create a very shallow uh, constant level of nutrient in a container and that's something I might uh, demonstrate in the future but what that would do is uh, keep the nutrient level right here where uh, it needs to be so that way the roots are not uh, submerged and overly wet and the roots don't have to try to stretch to get to the uh, water and the food. Uh, with a setup like this you'll probably have to top it off eventually to keep the nutrient level up here where it needs to be but uh, that would be my suggestions on what I have found testing using non-circulating hydroponics for African violence.